So I have a very fun uh, background when it comes to accounting. I started originally as an accounts receivable clerk when I was 16 years old for my father's company. I got yelled at on my first call and I started crying and I was like, who, whoever goes into this field, what is this field of accounting? Like, who would ever want to do accounts receivable? Uh, so I, I really got the slap of accounting back when I was 16 years old. But I, uh, I started there and I started to kind of get into the numbers a little bit. And then, you know, as I continued to work for his company, I started to learn more about the accounting side of the business and I started to be able to pull reports and really understand numbers and see from an operations perspective how those numbers could help make decisions moving forward and I started to become really intrigued and really interested in what accounting could do for a business and so I wanted up um, I actually was a marine biology major when I was in college, but I was still working for my father's company and I think marine biology and accounting were kind of fighting each other and accounting won. So I dropped the marine biology major and I became an accounting major and for me it was super simple. It was an easy equation, it was uh, easy math and it was something that I just understood because I already knew what a balance sheet was when I was 17 years old. I already knew what an income statement was. I already knew how things flowed. I already knew what segregation of duties was back in the day because I, you know, you could witness certain things that were going on. So I had the opportunity to experience all of that. So when it came to, you know, the the classroom, it was super easy for me to understand it. And having that experience just made the theory side just, you know, a no-brainer for me. So I went ahead and I, you know, became an accounting major. Then I went and I I took the CPA exam. That was a whole disaster in itself. I mean, I. I, uh, I, I felt like you know you needed to be so smart and you needed to be able to pass this exam and your intelligence was in tied to passing the CPA exam. And what happened for me was I got so scared of this exam that I winded up you know doing pretty poorly on it. I, I think I failed three times in a row and I was actually dating Andrew at the time and you know he was the one that told me, look, you know, your intelligence isn't really tied to this exam. Like, you're pretty smart. You don't necessarily need this exam to tell you that you're pretty smart. So I let go of that idea that my intelligence wasn't tied to the exam, and then I winded up passing all four of them in a row. So, you know, it was a very emotional journey for me uh, to take that CPA exam, uh, and I hated every minute of it, uh, and, I, and I felt like it was cruel and something that I just didn't want to do. But I winded up passing it, and then I went into public accounting, uh, where I worked as an auditor for, for quite a while. And then after that, Andrew and I decided to become entrepreneurs, and uh, we fell into starting, you know, AccountingTax.com and and working with the community and, and helping other people grow. So we kind of fell in and out of the accounting world, but it's always kind of I always had a tie to it. You know, it's something that I always understood, and I think a lot of the realization that I wanted to be in accounting was that you know I got that opportunity to really experience it as somebody who was in business and I had that experience, you know, I was nine years old and my dad would have dinner table conversations about the company. So I, I loved business and I loved every aspect of it and so I just knew that I wanted to be a part of it and accounting was my path to do that.